baby. What do we have here? Come with me, big guy. Come with me. Well, here's the front wheel wood kit for a 2G DSM. Comes with all the hardware, brake pads, four piston uh, calibers, two piece light rotors, of course the brackets for mounting the calibers. There's the other piece of the rotor, drill and slotted I went with. That's what they had in stock. Wasn't really picky about that. But you can see everything looks beautiful. Can't wait to install this bad boy. I also grabbed their stainless steel brake lines from Wheelwood. Look at these babies. I say it was time. Some distress cracks and the warp. Let's put some freshies. Well, one hour later, this whole caliber was seized and I smacked the hell out of it with uh the hammer, the mullet, the mallet, not the mullet, the mallet, <laughs> not the 80s mullet haircut. Um, smacked the heck out of it with it, and it wouldn't budge. So, of course, I didn't have a nice size bolt laying around anywhere. Uh, where's the bolt I just used? So, I ran to Advanced Auto Parts right around the corner from me and bought this bolt, and I slid it through the bottom hole here. I slid it through there. I put a 14 millimeter wrench here and then I hit this with my 14 millimeter impact just to and basically just push into the rotor. Um, so I did that a couple times. Each time I turned the rotor because you got to be careful not to damage these threads. So some of you probably have done this before but it doesn't take much for these things to seize, um, but it's obviously been on there a while, so hopefully I don't have to deal with this again. But if so, I may even take this bolt and label it, uh, you know, for a seized road or put a piece of masking tape on it so that I don't have to run to the store and go spend whatever I spent because, of course, you had to buy a whole pack, but no big deal. At least it'll come off. All right, so to install these wheelwood brakes, I tried to put it on with the dust shield, I tried to put the uh, rotor on, and it definitely hits the dust shield because it's a much bigger caliber. Um, so instead of taking this whole thing off, I just snipped them here, snipped it there, then I will take this bolt out here, I'm guessing it's like a 10 or 12, and uh, I'll be able to slide them off that way, and you can actually reuse them again if you need it. So they'll be good to keep, just in case or someone else needs them. Uh, this one was actually already cut because when my car was all wheel drive swap, this is how the 95 town donor car was. So, you know, it could still work. So this is basically just held on with the one bolt. But obviously it's tightened down with the nut behind here, the bolt behind here. So I'm gonna take these off and then we'll uh, start putting some things on. I still gotta disconnect the rotors and the lines here too. Alright, so I put these little, uh, this adapter here, old brick lining calibers off. So the, this bad boy will go up here. I have a uh, little piece of paper towel on it now just because it's got a slight, obviously, leak when I disconnect the hose. Um, so I'll slide this part through the slot, then I'll put my clip back in there. So the clip will go in this little gap here. And the side of this will obviously hook to the new caliper. So that's where we're at. We're just doing one side at a time here. Brake line is on. Rotor's on. I just hand tied uh, three lug nuts there. And now we'll get the uh, bracket for the caliper. We'll get that on and then we'll get the caliper on. And we'll start shimming it to try and get it lined up with the rotor. This way it's dead even. Center bracket is on. Now I didn't torque anything down yet. 
I'll do that all at the end when I get everything lined up. So now I'm gonna take these spacers and the shim. I'm gonna put a spacer and a shim on those and then uh, slide the caliper on. Looks pretty nice, huh? So I just gotta attach the brake line and also this little clip comes out and once I put the pads in I'll see if it's perfect if the rotor is perfectly centered if it's not it comes with some shims you can shimmy it uh, left or right so it looks pretty darn good brake pads come with this four of these one for each pad and that piece there is sticky and you put it on the back of here and then you take these little tabs these little ears they almost look like the ears that you would see on a, a regular brake pads like the shims and just tap them i just tapped it lightly to bend them just uh i guess it gives them you know it lets them hug the pads and these are supposed to help stop it from squealing so got to do this and then uh Take that little shim piece out, that little clip, and put them in. Thank you all. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day, guys.